Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday. It's August the 10th. Lynn Curtin. Who's Lynn Curtin, right? Well, she was a real housewife of Orange County. She's the one that had that facelift and all the problems with her teenage daughters and then got evicted. Well, she is no longer going to be a real housewife of the Orange County, I guess because you have to be sort of kind of rich to be on that show. So anyway, some woman named Peggy Thomas from Irvine has taken her place, and the show will be back for its sixth season on Bravo in January. It's been almost two years since Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi got married in their backyard. A really pretty wedding dress, by the way. Anyway, they had all the mess with Proposition 8. Now that that's settled, Portia's decided she wants to make it official and legally change her name to Portia DeGeneres. So she's filed the paperwork. A hearing on that is September 23rd. It's not the first time she's legally changed her name. She was born Amanda, but then legally had her name changed to Portia when she was 15 because she liked the character's name in Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. And then she picked Rossi just because she thought it sounded cool. Nicole Ritchie is mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted, so much so that she finally had a breakdown two weeks ago. At least that's according to a source close to her who blabbed to the National Enquirer. They say she's getting about four hours or less of sleep every night and that's enough to make anybody cuckoo. Plus she's got, you know, stress about work overloaded with that. And for some reason she's convinced that her fiance Joel Madden's going to cheat on her. I don't know why because she's the hotter of that two. Justin Bieber says despite the rumors to the contrary. He is single, but not by choice. He wants to find that special someone, but he travels so much, and he wants to find a girl who's interested in him, not just for his fame, but for who he is. So if that describes you, well, good luck with that, because you'll have to find uh, a way to get to him and let him know that it's really not about his fame. It's really about Justin. Now, sources connected with American Idol say they're kind of rolling the dice and taking a gamble that the chemistry between Jennifer Lopez, Steven Tyler, and Randy Jackson is going to work, because before they ever pick the first three idol judges, Nigel Lithgow would, or Lithgow, would arrange all these dinners together to let them mesh. Then he even sent Simon and Randy out to strip clubs so they could really bond, if you know what I'm saying. And, you know, so it worked. And then when Fox executives were adamant, no Paula Abdul, she's a washed up former pop star, he said, no, you have to believe this magic's going to work. And he was right. So we'll see if they're going to be able to make this happen again. Because Jennifer, Stephen, Randy, those three haven't even ever been in the same room together at the same time. So it'll be interesting to see. And whatever they decide to do, they're going to have to decide quick. No ink has been signed on any contracts. And the auditions before the judges are supposed to start in about a month. So they need to get cracking on this. That's your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday. Check out more blogs, pics, videos, and celebrity gossip. All at KidLive.com. KidLive.com.